everyone. Welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Narlo here. Say hello to everyone, Narlo. Good boy. We have returned here to Imladris and the last homely house here in Rivendell. We need to speak to Lord Elrond. When last we were actually playing, before the festival and everything, we had finished up Book 15 and had completed Volume 1, The Shadows of Angmar. We had uh, seen the defeat of Amarthiel, the, the steward of the north, and we had seen the, the defeat of Mordoreth, the false king, so that the northern lands of Eriador have, at least for a while, a respite from the danger of being invaded by the forces of Angmar. Now that was the entire story of the original game that we saw there. Uh, the Shadows of Angmar was everything that you could do up to the point of Volume 2 when the first expansion came out, The Mines of Moria. And that is what we are going to start now. I believe Lord Elrond here has something to talk to us about, so let us go ahead and speak with him. Will you lend me your aid once more? Forward, the Fellowship departs. The time has come for the company to depart on their errand of secrecy, Narlo. As you have been of some assistance with the preparations, you may join the members of my household as we see them on their way. Tell me when you are ready to wish them well. All right, as you see, we are getting to the point where it is now the Fellowship has been here for a month, and they are ready to proceed on on their journey to the south. They are about to leave Rivendell and head down on their planned route of crossing through the, the Redhorn Pass and to go across the Mount Caradras that way. So it says, talk to Elrond and see the company off on their secret errand. Okay, that we can do. Let us go ahead and continue with the forward here. It is time, Narlo. Let us go with my household to wish the company well. The household of Elrond Half-Elven gather to bid farewell to nine brave adventurers entrusted with a secret task which could mean the salvation or doom of Middle-earth. I, Gandalf the Grey, must lead them along dark. Okay, and I'm going to stop right there for a second. Let me pause it, because I need to reset the music and reset the combat effects and all. So I'll be right back. And I'm back. I do apologize about that. I do not know why this thing will not keep my settings every single time. But I also turned down sound effects. Usually I leave those on. But since we're going to have a lot of talking and everything right here, right next to this raging river and a couple of waterfalls, I went ahead and turned sound effects down so that we wouldn't be drowned out by all the sound of the music too. Uh, the sound of the river too. It'll definitely help my editing later if I don't have to go through and, and try and get rid of all the river noise. All right, here we have Frodo, we have Bilbo. Oh, they are all here now, aren't they? There's Aragorn, Gimli, Boromir, Legolas, Meridoc, Peregrine, Samwise, and Bill the Pony. Looks like everyone is here except for for Gandalf. He must be with Lord Elrond. Let us go ahead and talk to Frodo here. Everything seems to be ready, Narlo, and we're about to leave. Hopefully I will see you again once this is all done with. So we need to talk to Aragorn, talk to Samwise, and talk to Meriadoc. You take care of yourself, Frodo. Adventuring is dangerous business. It is, but look at all the help I'll have. You're right, Frodo. You can't go wrong with a took, brandy buck, and a gamgee. Solid hobbits all. <laughs> okay. Now, next up, we need to go talk to Aragorn here. Keep an eye upon these lands while we are away, my friend. 
Our errand is a dangerous one, but there will be danger behind us, too, and my footsteps will be easier if I know that Narlo remains behind to protect against them. My own journey will carry me far from here. Anduril will go to Minas Tirith, but my road follows that of the company for many leagues. Okay, let us go over here and let us talk to Samwise, who is busy finishing the packing with Bill the Pony. Good old Bill. Samwise, you dunderhead! You've gone and forgotten to bring a bit of rope with you. I knew there was something you'd forgotten. Hello there, Narlo. It looks like this is it, and we're about to head out. Check in on my old gaffer from time to time, will you? Lord knows when we'll be done with this whole business. Bill here will have too much to carry as it is, and I've lightened his load as much as I can. You're in for it now, same as we are, Bill. Got to look after each other, we do. Here comes Frodo on down the hill. Coming to talk to Samwise? Or are you just coming down the hill? All right, no further conversation there. Let's go talk to Meriadoc as he sits here with Peregrine. You see the townspeople, all the elves have come out to see them all. This is it, Narlo. Wish us luck and we'll be sure to come through okay. Leastways, we'll make sure to lend Frodo all the help we can and do whatever Gandalf needs for us to do. We'll see you when we get back, and that's a promise. Come on, Pip, it's almost time to go. I'm ready. I was just saving my energy, Mary. Okay, next up, talk to Boromir. So begins a new journey. Let us go forth boldly, I say, rather than skulking from shadow to shadow, and let the enemy quell at our coming. Are we ready at last to leave? I would be glad to put this waiting behind us. Always do I wind my horn at setting forth. Let the enemy quake at its call. That was ill done, Boromir. The strength of this company's errand is in its secrecy. Why should we creep in darkness and in fear? We are not thieves. Yet we must leave like thieves, Boromir, or rest detection. Come here, Narlo. Y'all will notice that none of this was actually in the movie. Y'all did not see me in Peter Jackson's movie, going about talking to everyone. It's, it's modesty, I will have to say. I, I felt that, you know, having the great Narlo there would just kind of, kind of overshadow the, the, overshadow the lesser journey that they are taking to the south. A, 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 a very important quest, all in its own, of course, but, uh, Therefore, I, I had him, you know, edit out all the parts that he wanted to include in me. It's modesty, you understand. The number of the company has been chosen, Arlo, and any more would threaten the success of its mission. You have business remaining in Eriador, brave hobbit. Defend its people from the lengthening shadows. If the errand of this company fails, Eriador will have need of heroes before the final darkness. You have done your part, Narlo. This burden is for others to bear. The company is setting out on the quest of Mount Doom. I ask no oath or bond of you, save Frodo alone. You go with him as free companions. Any who abandon Frodo will answer to my axe. A fool vows to walk any road when he knows not where it winds, Narlo, uh, Gimli. Such a vow might lead the fool courage to strengthen his heart, if strength it needed. Rely instead upon each other and take what counsel you can. 
Go now, and with the blessings of all free folk, farewell. Come on, Bill. All the townspeople are waving them off. Farewell, sweet Amladris. You will stay always in my memory. I need to talk to Elron, but we're going to watch them all. Mary? What is it, Pippin? I'm hungry. That's as far as we can go. Sit here and watch them leave. last hobbit crosses the bridge and disappears into the distance. The fellowship has now departed on its way. Beyond the help of any here, except of course, the great Narlo. I'm sure it won't be the last time we see some of these folks. Let us talk once more to Elrond. It is done, and they are beyond my aid. For all of my wisdom, I cannot see the end of their road. May they come to it in safety, and return to Rivendell in victory. And so the company departs. May the stars shine upon their road's end. Let us go back inside, Narlo. There is nothing more we can do for them. The company must now rely upon their own strength and wisdom. Let's go down and talk to Elrond again. I believe he has a reward waiting for us. Do not weigh yourself with the burden of grief, Narlo. Narmalef will live again in the Undying Lands, and Eonur will find the peace that he lost so long ago. A strange fate brings you hither. It is done, Narlo. All our hopes now rest upon the nine members of the company, nine walkers to stand against the nine riders of the enemy. May they come to no harm and return in safety, their task completed. There is nothing we can do for them now. We must stand tall against the shadow and keep its attention focused upon us, far away from those who can do it the greatest harm. That is our task now, Narlo. Do you accept it? Alright, choose one. We will always choose the uh, healing potions. And we will get increased reputation, of course, a brilliant uh, token, which will give us, it's a one-time use, but gives us plus five hope and plus five to everyone around us. That is a nice thing to have. That's the kind of hope stuff I was wanting when we were fighting against, against Mortareth and stuff. And the mark of a fellow, but the fellowship, a level 50 pocket item. 33 Fate, 16 Vitality, 636 Resistance Rating, those are all nice, and a 10% chance to reflect 10 damage. As you hold this small token, you are reminded of Elrond's words when the company departed Rivendell. Stand tall against the shadow and keep its attention focused upon us, far away from those who can do it the greatest harm. There we are. Completed the forward, the fellowship departs. Now, do you have another quest for us? Do we continue on with you, or what happens now? I am not really sure. So that was the forward, so now I'm gonna have to look, go look and see where it is that we go next time. But that is good enough for now, that makes a good episode. So we are going to sit here, smoke our pipe along with Lord Elrond, and sit and think about the fellowship that has gone off, sending them our best wishes, and thinking about what dark and evil road lies ahead of them. 
So we will see you next time. Thank you for joining me as we start into Volume 2 here, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.